With 4 million sounds, what will you create? Take the free trial today. Hello, uh, welcome to another of our Superbooth uh, home editions. Uh, we're here with uh, Patrick from Eventide. How you doing, Patrick? I'm doing well. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Where where are you in the world? You look at your the big E there, the Eventide HQ. <laughs> we're at the Eventide Studios. Um, we're in Little Ferry, New Jersey, right by New York City, where the heart of this uh, pandemic is. Wow. Okay, so that's right in the center. Well, I hope I'm glad to see you're doing well and lovely to see. So, what are we looking at today, Patrick? Cool. So right right now we're showing off um, the H9000. This is our flagship effects processor. We've been showing this off for a while, but something that's new with this is Pro Tools HD integration. So we actually were releasing an expansion card for the H9000 um, to plug into your HD system, right? So they'll give you 32 channels in and out um, via a Digilink connector, and there's going to be two connections in the back. that can You can either do one connection via 32 channels or split them via 16 channels each so that you can daisy chain it with your other HD devices. Um, and as well as loop sync connections in the back. So you can actually loop sync this with your you know, entire rig so your clock never drifts or anything like that. So if, uh, just to get this right, it's, it's, an, it's an expansion for Pro Tools. So that, has that got DSP on board as well? So it's giving it extra grunt? No, no, the the um, expansion card um, for the H9000 is just for, it's no DSP, it's just for I.O. Ah, so you I. need the H9000 and then the, that you can link that directly into the Pro Tools system. Right, I got you. Exactly. Yeah, there's three expansion slots in the back of the 9K. Right now, the two that are available are Dante and Maddie, but we're moving into the Pro Tools um, uh, environment. Uh, and I see we've got a screen up here. So what are we looking at here? Is this just like a kind of uh, interface of the device? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually, this is like the software front end of the H9000. So there's two versions. There's the H9000R, which is just a blank front panel, which you use emote exclusively. And there's another version. I'm going to flip my camera around. There you go. That's the regular H9000. Ah, uh, okay. Um, and you can interface with that in the front, but emote... You can connect it to Emote regardless wirelessly or via Ethernet cable. So as long as it's in the same network as your studio, you can plug in a Wi-Fi dongle and log it, um, log it in, and then you can control it from anywhere as long as your Wi-Fi is, you know, reaching that. So yeah, this is um, you can do anything from Emote. You can load your sessions, you know, um, you can preview your sessions, you can load your effects chains, and most of all, this is the easiest user interface for the um, that Eventide really ever made. Um, because everything is just drag and drop. So hypothetically, I have like a regular piano here, right? Um, let me see if you can hear this. Regular yeah. piano, like nothing special. Um, if I just want that to have like kind of a classic 80s micro pitch, I can just either type it in here, like micro pitch, and I'll look through all my micro pitch algorithms. And I'm just gonna drag the H3000 in. As soon as I load it, it's automatically routed to the I.O. I selected, and we already have that effect in. Instant 80s. Oh, that was, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling some journey there, or perhaps even a bit <laughs> totally, of... Totally, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, the good... good tr nice. um, and it's, so you can use up to 16 algorithms all at the same time. Per, um, per effects chain, you can have up to four effects chains, so you, you can just drag an effects chain preset in next to it, and then that'll be its own send. Um, but within our effect chain that we're building right now, if we're like, okay, I like that micro pitch, I want to add some reverb after that. Um, you can either type up reverb here, or you can go to sort by. There's a lot of effects here. Right. There's like over, I think there's around 1500 algorithms to select from. So there's a lot. So we have to kind of like start to filter it in. Um, so I'll select reverb and now all my reverb algorithms are here. So I'll drag in wormhole, which is like a super lush reverb. You'll hear it. And I'm just going to, so actually, just to kind of get into it first. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask, uh, you can edit the actual parameters as well, right? So oh, you can, yeah. there's thousands and thousands of, uh, <laughs> of knobs to play around with. And um, you can automate every single thing via Pro Tools. So this actually also, worth mentioning, comes as a plugin. Um, not like with DSP within the plugin, but just as a controller so that you can like route your automation into Emote and you can automate any parameter you want in Emote. So right now I can just dial the mix down because it's a really lush reverb and this is what that sounds like. Uh. 
Yeah, it's kind of what we it need up. for these times, actually. A bit of uh, long, ambient, relaxing stuff. You know, just just all good. Absolutely. And, dude, this thing is an ambient machine. I'm a huge, like, fan of ambient music and just sound design, um, especially for, like, film scoring, um, you know, kind of purposes. Like, these things just, there's so much space that you could just kind of, like, let it, you know, sizzle. And then if we want to even get more creative after that, there's effects in here that you just can't really get anywhere else. There's this one algorithm called Galaxy Borders, which is a... It, almost, it sounds like a granular delay that's pitch shifted up and down and then panned hard left and right. Do you want to hear that one? Yes, of course. All right, right on. Um, so I'm going to take out my sorting, and I'm just going to type in Galaxy Borders. And there it is. All and so the cool thing with this too is that you can route things in series or in parallel. And I'll show yeah, you I how to route things in parallel. There's a five point one version there as well. So yeah. oh yeah, there's a five one version of it. It's it's gnarly. But here's the regular version of it for now. And we can sum this four outputs into just a stereo. Um, and then it's just this easy, man, to make your connections. It kind of reminds me of Max MSP or yeah. um, re like Reason. You know, in that in that like kind of like you have to connect your patches. It's really easy to just kind of connect everything like that. So this is what this patch will sound like um, with Galaxy Borders in parallel. And re remember, this is just a regular piano. Oh, nice. Right? Yeah. Very atmospheric, and it's just... Super relaxing. So I mean, it's we should very we, wide. we should point out that the the H uh, th this system is kind of top end. It's sort of post production. It's high. It's not like an H nine pedal. Yeah, or the, you know, or the it, it's the it's the kind of uh, the the best this is you a make. Flagship, right? Yeah. right? This is like no. Um, we didn't. You know, money was no object in terms of making it. We wanted to make. We wanted to have the best converters, the best sound, every, the best possible thing you can get, um, without compromising anything so a, a lot of work went into the h9000 this was like over 10 years of development um that we've been just making sure it's user-friendly one and also sounds incredible so are some of these algorithms also available in your sort of lower end products as well or just sort of cut down versions or yeah yeah all the, so all the h9 and factor series algorithms are here so you're you know mod factor uh, pitch factor space uh time factor as well as the h9 algorithms and we're also, we put in some of our plugins in here, um, like Instant Phaser, Flanger, um, SP2016, Reverb. Um, but there's also a, like some exclusive um, H9000 algorithms, like the H3000 micro pitch. You can only see that in the H9000 as a you know Eventide product and our take on the Univibe. They'll only be on the H9000 for now. Um, I mean, but this but has, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. But but this, but I mean, this is this is top, what what kind of what's the, the presumably there are different versions of the H nine thousand depending on what I O you want to get. I mean, where does it start? I mean, I, I guess a sharp intake of breath for people who are maybe expecting something the cost of a of a stomp box. This is this is high end studio stuff, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. So there's only two versions, and they're the exact same thing, I O wise and power wise. The only difference is the H nine thousand R won't have a front panel. It's just going to be a blank front panel that says H nine thousand R in front of it. Um, and you can't interface with it via the front panel. You can only interface with it via emote. Now, that's really good for people who are just using it in the... It's going to either put it in the machine room yeah. um, and just, you know, remote via emote. So that one costs four nine nine nine, Right. So um, around five grand. And then the front panel version of emote, you can interface with it. You could, um, you know, you don't have to worry about, the f you know, far, far, far into the future if the software is not compatible with, like, your MacBook um 3000 or something <laughs> um, <laughs> um but so far so uh yeah that version with the front panel is going to be um 6999 so around right. seven um and everything you can do from emote you could do from the front panel of the h9000 as well Wow. Okay. But I mean, well, so where are people using it? I mean, are we seeing this in kind of post-production or because I guess the thing is with this much IO, you could almost have, you know, you could have several studios using it. If, if they only got four sends each and four returns, you've got 32 uh -huh. IO, then you could end up with maybe three or four studios using sections, you know, using their own, you know, 25% yeah. of it, I suppose. Yeah. In different oh, rooms. Yeah. You, spe especially since you can, um, you know, have different effects chains. So you can have like post room A, B and C and D using like effects chain one, two, and then this is going to be for post room 
you know, C and then post room D will use this effects chain. And you guys can have all your own unique workflows going on, especially if you're in an environment where you're working in like a Dante um, networking environment and you could just literally patch into it via the virtual sound card. So it's just um, like so a yeah, massive, a massive DSP with brilliant IO and, uh, and, and all those fantastic algorithms available to anyone on the network if there's a spare time. Right, okay. Yeah, so as far as people using it, a lot of people in post-production and film, yeah, they're definitely using it because of just, you know, how you can transform like a regular piano into something that suddenly sounds like this. Um, I mean, who And then al also, <laughs> we, yeah, right. Um, and then also live people, we have like Slipknot using this, um, yeah. Fish, Tosh Sultana, just because, you know, you want to get the best atmospheres live, you know. Um, so yeah, we have a ton of people using this, man. Sound designers to live. Excellent. Patrick, that's that's fascinating. I mean, I don't know if you've showed us everything. I mean, is the uh, Pro Tools IO card is that that's presumably an add-on? Is it? What's the what's the, what's the cost of that? Have you got a price for that? Um, we haven't set a price on it yet, but it's going to be coming out in around the second quarter. We're going into beta right now, so this thing is um, going to be ready to go very soon. Okay, Patrick, thank you very much. That was great. Of course, thank you.